here's the mother freaking tea. So here's the mother freaking tea. Uh, I respond to this lady on uh, from Poshmark that I was selling this dress for ten dollars. Okay, and I give her four images for her to look um, to look at them, and then she emails me said thanks for giving back to me. I don't mind uh, adding fifty dollars for you to hold it for me, and I'm going to pay with a cashier check. My husband's secretary is going to issue the payment out to you as soon as you receive the payment. Have your money in hand. I'll arrange for shipping. Get back to me with your full name, address, amount, and receive the payment for me. Thanks. And my stupid self had to give you know my information to this person because I did not see the red flag and I well first I thought the $50 was too much because I was selling this for $10 so I was like yikes um well first I I tell her I'm still to I'm still new to the app if someone wants to pay for an item you email them because I'm so used to Macari so I didn't know Poshmark very well and then I asked her, are you sure about the $50? I was selling this dress for 10. Yes, I can hold on this, I meant this dress for you. Doesn't the app help you with shipping? It was weird that she didn't say anything about the shipping. Um, I only have access to check from her husband, please. Uh, give the address and phone number, blah, blah, blah. And then I gave her my phone number and all that. Um, which is stupid. Then she's like, thanks, please take off the ads from Poshmark. And then that took me a second what she meant, but she meant take down the dress for not for sale. And I was like, oh my bad. Um, I got it, I just took it down. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I was kind of like distracted. Um, I hope, I was trying to say, I hope you love your new dress. <laughs> um, then it was a while. Then I said, hey, sorry, I, I gone busy. I meant to ask for your shipping information for the dress. Because I thought it was kind of weird how it was, you know, there wasn't any communication or anything. Um, I, this, okay, so this got messed up. So I did get an email, like, there should be a check, um received and then i did oh wait yeah she said hello the check is delivered to your address please let me know if you have it and then i said hello sheila i received your check what address do i ship the dress to and it was kind of weird because the check was in a male's name and then the male's there was another male's name okay so i did see i didn't check the um the the check yet and I told her Sheila are you sure about the check I was selling a dress for a low price and the check was over a thousand dollars which was beyond insane um I even thought fifty dollars was too much but yeah a thousand didn't seem right um let's see let me go up here and then she was she was saying that she was out of town um, that she had to rush and visit the daughter who was rushed to the hospital. Um, she needed my honesty and trust to end up this transaction. I got a text from my husband or her husband. Um, okay, I'm trying to do it like different points. Oh, it's hard. And then the daughter bill was supposed to be issued on a different check was issued and the funds sent to you due to rushing arrangements. Why would you rush a check like this? I... I don't know. As soon as you receive the check, do you deduct the total amount of the dress with the extra 50 I gave you and the rest funds are going to send back to me with the dress. And I'd like to know if I can trust you with money because this money was for my daughter's hospital bills and it's huge. I hope you understand. Um, well, this whole thing is huge. I'm like, why? <laughs> why is this happening? <laughs> and then I tell her, of course, I'll send... The check with the dress. I hope your daughter's okay. So I return it with the same mailing address that was sent. Again, I wasn't sure if that was her address or someone else's address. And while reading this, I st still did not see the signs of it being a scam. Because ugh, I'm too trusting. I hate myself. Ugh, whatever. Okay.
I will send you the address. Please go ahead and deposit the check and send me a screenshot once uh, once it's done. Please, I will like your phone number so I can text you. Thanks. I said, are you sure I can do online banking and send you a screenshot? And then I gave her my number. Wait, I already gave her my number. So I was like, what the heck? So I get the text uh, from her. And she's like, hello, it's me from Poshmark. So she sent me the check. It says pay 1000 uh, four hundred fifty dollars. So I signed it like a fool, and she wanted pictures. Then I said, "How much was made available?" And I said, "That can you send the money now?" I said, "Do you have Venmo? Do you have Zelle Pay?" And I'm like, "I don't know what that is." I also have PayPal, and she's like, "What bank do you have?" I have Fremont. Do you have Cash App or Google? I have Cash App. Okay, so Cash App money me now and get the cash tag. Blah 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 blah. And then she gives me the user. Um, I told her that the check is still depositing, so I don't have the amount of the amount of money in my account right now. When it does, I will send as soon as possible. Okay. Um, I said I don't have much because I'm not currently working and I'm a student. I feel so bad. I wish that selling items were easier to do, which I was like, I still didn't know it was a fraud at this time. Okay, just let you know how much you can send. And then I didn't understand. <laughs> I said it was that. She's like, give me the screenshot of the depositing page. I said it usually takes a day for the check to be deposited, but I will have the money sent to you as soon as possible. And it, and I show her that it's still pending. I said, okay, I will. I'm so sorry about this. She just says, okay. And then during this, between this time, between the texts, um, my mom's like, this is a fraud. <laughs> so then she starts saying good morning how was your night hello what's going on let me know if the funds are available please question mark question mark question mark and then i get this email like days later because i after i figured out it was a scam fraud whatever you want to call it um i blocked every number she started texting me with including the first one and I get this email saying I will have to report you to the FBI for fraud if you don't reply to me as soon as possible I have your details and I know you don't want to jail <laughs> go to jail I can see you want to steal my money first of all you are trying to steal my money that I don't <laughs> I'm so broke like jokes on you and how dare you try to take advantage of me? You know, I'm just, I was just trying to be, uh, <laughs> I was just trying to sell a $10 dress. Please. <laughs>